Okay, I did a video on this before, and it wasn't a very good one. It didn't show the effect very well, so I'm redoing it. Um, so, on the uh, uh, the self-healing abilities of capacitors. Alright, so uh, I got 12 volts. I got a 12 volt adapter here plugged into the wall. I'm, I'm not, this is just a battery to hold this down. And so this is 12 volts. Um, I'm using the simple um, 555 oscillator um, to pulse the 12 volts into this coil. Now, of course, this coil has a, uh, a magnetic field around it and it collapses and it shoots out a much higher voltage. And so that's what I'm using to charge this capacitor. Now, I'm going to charge this up. So right now this has like 10 volts in it. Okay, and this particular capacitor has like really bad current leakage. So, but I'm going to charge it up anyways. So you can hear this. I'm try to get it up to 450 volts. And this magnet is just so I can hear the frequency. So I got it on a pretty low frequency. So there's 450 volts. Okay. Now I'm going to discharge this. And it just blew my ear off. And uh, so I discharged it. Try to empty it out. And so this is the, the charging, the self-charging ability. So this, this capacitor is literally just charging itself. Um, but like I said, this uh, capacitor is, uh, has really bad current leakage. So I'm not sure exactly what to look for in capacitors to try to uh, increase the effect. But this one only seems to charge itself by about 5%. So this is a, it's upside down, but this is a 450 volt, 82 microfarad capacitor. Now, Nikola Tesla, in his very first systems, all it was, was a, a discharging capacitor. He would just charge it up with a dynamo, or some type of voltage source, and then uh, he would just discharge it into his, his coils using a spark gap. Instead of using a spark gap, I'm using just a, a, a 400 volt MOSFET. Okay, now, got 19 volts in here. And you can see the current leakage. It's already taken over. So it doesn't want to really charge up anymore. But if I discharge it again. And, let's see here. This on here get it down to zero and then take it off you can see it wants to like bounce back up so see it's already got half a volt and I've already discharged it twice and it'll get up to a volt and beyond so I'm gonna do it one more time do it again here this time I'm gonna disconnect it completely from the circuitry so you can see there's no weird like electricery going on here. I'll get get it up to about 450 volts. That's good. Discharge it. Yeah, I'm discharging it now. So you see you know, the meter went down to zero. Okay, and now it's charging itself back up. I'm going to completely disconnect this from the circuitry and I'm going to try to lift this whole thing up without uh, making everything fall to the floor. And you see it's still wanting to charge itself up. Walk around a little bit. So you see there's nothing underneath. Nothing weird going on. It's just the, the self-healing effect of the capacitor. And I'll put this back down here. Okay. So it's still charging itself up. So what it'll do is it'll slow down. 
And the worst, the li current leakage is, uh, then the, the less pronounced the effect is. So they say this is a, you know, in physics or electronics, in those areas they say that this is just a dielectric absorption, but I'm not quite so sure that's exactly what it is. I think it might be a little bit more than that. Um, I like to think of it as the ether flowing into the uh, into the capacitor. Now, <laughs> the cashmere effect is something similar, where but I, I think that works more on a quantum level, where the two plates are in close pr proximity to each other, and uh, there's a force in between the two. But that's just gravity. Of course, you know, you got two plates. And they're both mass. They're going to, there's going to be a gravitational force between the two. But So there's two plates here, but the only difference is that this capacitor is being charged. Uh, and then discharged abruptly. So, now you see the, the current leakage is, is uh, catching up. Um, so... The current is leaking out of this thing. Now, some of them, this one can charge itself back up to about 5% of what it started out with. I've seen capacitors charge themselves up to about 10% of what they started out with. Now, think about that. We've got 12 volts right here. Okay, normally, the output in the form of a collapsing magnetic field shooting out of this coil is about 80% roughly from from the energy that you started out with. So if you got 80% coming from a collapsing field and then you can somehow harness another 10% from a capacitor discharge, you know, that's probably like 90% right there returning from the energy you initially used so maybe you guys can comment on what you think about that or maybe how to uh, utilize this effect uh, for maybe emotional device or something like that so please subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching